So I had an extra laptop screen sitting around. I decided to follow this guy's tutorial. DIY perks. Build your own screen out of recycled parts. So I found this control board for $23. Made sure it was the exact model. This power adapter was pretty expensive. $8.32 plus $5 for shipping. I got the 3 amp model because the screen that I have is pretty small. And although he didn't necessarily recommend it, I got a case, a protective plastic box for the screen. And if you look down, you'll see this $5 shipping as well. So uh came out to like American dollars. This was $12. This was approximately $16. And this was $23. So by my calculation, it came out to like $54. This was a tiny laptop screen that I had. And I uh, glued this to the front using uh, actually adhesive, double-sided uh, tape, mounting tape. Ran this right to the back. I even taped it down, put it right in there so it's nice and set. And this is the case. It's a nice case. And I ran the wiring under here and the wiring got messed up. So I was seeing lines at some point, but that fixed eventually. And I also put this gluing it right here as well as gluing this right here. So it kind of, uh, is used as a mount to keep it standing up. And all I have to do is plug in power. Okay, now I have an HDMI plugged in over here and I have power plugged in over here. Here we have the screen power button. So if I press the power at my Raspberry Pi and then I power this on, let's try it. Oop, need two hands for that. And once I powered it on, let's see what happens. HDMI and, and there we go. Raspberry Pi is all booted up. I have to mention that, um, the tape fell out of here and, well, it got not adhesive and is no longer sticky. So I paid $54 for this. I gotta say, it was not worth it at all. Um, so what did I do after this, after I realized how not worth it it is, I decided to do it again. And although it does look kind of cool, it, it just wasn't worth it. And if you look closely, you'll see once in a while there is a line or two, which is super annoying because it cost $54. And, and the screen was free. After I spent $14 on the power adapter, I had realized that I did have power adapters. 12 volt and, you know, 4 amps, 5 amps laying around. This one happens to be 2 amps, but it works. I got myself another laptop screen. This time I didn't have to pay for the power adapter because I already had one. I kept it in the case, so it still looks very nice. The bezel is still on. Obviously, um, you know, doesn't look as perfect as it did when... Uh, when it was originally bought, but still. I ordered myself one of these and the order total was $23 and I didn't spend any more. So the total cost of this other one is going to be $23. I did however decide to follow his lead and build my own case. Um, as you can see, it was a disaster, but it kind of looks nice. Um, and I did buy the uh, the filament to put over it, the, uh, the nice coloring to put over it. So maybe we'll put it over after. This time I put the cable in a nice nylon braided uh, situation, sleeve. I'm going to put a Velcro this time. Uh, so that way I can take it off if I want to. And uh, I did glue this in because I don't have the screws for the top. And this has to be on this side because of this uh, ribbon cable holder. And on the other side I have the VGA audio and power. Hopefully this will also work as a uh, kind of like a, a mount for it. So that way it will fall back on it. Or a stand is the better word. So we got this 3M tape that I just put on. Okay. Okay, I got the adhesive off, and now we're going to put this on. Let's see how it's going to fit. All right. I just wanted to use two hands for that, and it's on. I like it. I think it's in a good place. But there's really thick Velcro on this side and on this side. However, it's a little annoying because these metal uh, things may cause problems when I'm trying to put it in. So hopefully it'll work out. And it was a problem, so I had to add a layer of tape to this, which is hilarious. I'm just adding more garbage. All right, here it is all connected up and I have the cable right here. Be careful with this ribbon cable. I got it all connected up. Press the power button. Here it goes. And there we go. It's powering on. On my Raspberry Pi. And here we go again. Hopefully it's going to connect to something. And there we go. It is connected to my Raspberry Pi and it is not flickering either. Although the image is not super clear. Maybe that's better. Right, that's better. It is working. So here it is. I'm really proud of this. Um, although it was a complete waste of my time. Um, it works. Let me show you my excellent cable management. So I got this. I actually dremeled out a hole uh, yeah, with a grinder on the dremel um, over there. And over here, it's just kind of going to the back. On this side, um, I took that cable, put it around there, and ran it under. And over here, maybe I'll have to tape this down or something. But um, here it is. 
So after uh, spending all this time, I finally decided to uh, hang it up right here in my tool room. Putting these two hooks on and I was able to get it mounted right here really nicely. And as you can see, this is where I keep all my tools and I do a lot of work here. So it's really nice to be able to have a screen here. And what I did was actually is I bought a Chromecast, uh, as you can see right here. And it's connected to the power strip right here. So as soon as I turn on the power strip, everything turns on. The Chromecast gets powered. I got an HDMI extender that comes down right down here. And then I have my Chromecast connected right to the screen. And since the screen is so light, it's actually able to be hung up just by a bunch of upside down hooks right here. So I just hook it right in there. It's really nice. I got these random speakers and I actually magnetize it to the top over here. So I have speakers. The Chromecast comes with a nice little remote. And if I want, I could just listen to music here, which is really nice. So thank you for watching and I hope you found this entertaining or useful. And if you like this video, please like it. And if you have any comments, please leave them below and I will definitely read them and respond to you. Have a great day.